Hi everybody, Coach Jordy here. I have a tip for you regarding one of the most common limiters that I see in swimmers. It's not the most important one, but it's one of the most common and it can adversely affect you. And that is the height of your hand and fingers on extension. You'll see a little piece of video in a moment of one of our swimmers, but what happens to a lot of people is as they extend forward, they allow those fingers to roller coaster up. They might think that they're getting more distance, but what they're doing is creating more drag. When we enter the water and extend, we want to make sure that those fingers are slightly below the wrist, which is slightly below the elbow. So don't allow it to roller coaster up, or you'll create drag, and you'll also put your arm in a very weak position. We want to be down here where it's much more powerful to go into the catch phase of our stroke. All right, let's take a look at video of an actual swimmer. Here's a very solid intermediate, upper intermediate swimmer. And you're going to see on both sides, she roller coasters up. We're going to see her palm as she extends her arm forward. We don't want to see that. So here we see the palm and then she's going to start to correct that palm, but still she's going to lose water on her pull. Same thing as the picture freezes, we see her palm and her fingers are too high. Remember, fingers below wrist, below elbow on extension. Here's a little closer shot now, and we're going to see some air bubbles now. So she's palm up, and she pulls. She has to correct, but she's losing water on that catch. Same thing on the back side. Palm up, she pulls with her palm up, and she has air bubbles coming off her hand, and she's losing power. So keep those fingers down, folks.